Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Very interesting piece of news I got here. It's going to be so interesting that uh, I hardly can wait for it to occur. So, let's see. This article comes from Ukrainska uh, Pravda, and this is the title from today, June 27th. Putin confirms his attendance at G20 summit in which Zelensky is set to participate. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> wouldn't that be interesting? So, Russian President Vladimir Putin has accepted the invitation extended to him by Joko Widodo, President of the Republic of Indonesia, to participate in the G20 summit in November. Oh, it's a long way. Uh, President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine is set to attend the summit. Source, Interfax, a Russian news agency, quoting Yuri Ushakov, an aide to Vladimir Putin. Quote from Ushakov, Yes, we have confirmed that we will participate in the G20 summit. All right, for now, they have invited us to attend in person. There's plenty of time until the summit. I hope that the pandemic will allow this meeting to take place in person. Details. Ushakov stressed that Indonesia had invited Putin to attend despite pressure from the West to restrict the, uh, rescind, the rescind the invitation. Okay, so they wanted him not to be there. Uh, the G20 summit is set to take place in Bali on 15 to 16 November 2022. Indonesia, which is a regular participant in the summit, is the year's host. In April, U.S. President Joe Biden personally asked Widodo to prevent Putin's attendance at this year's summit. In addition, American diplomats explained to the Indonesian government in private why Russia's invasion should be uh, invitation should be rescinded, by, uh, like withdrawn. Biden, by Biden. <laughs> Biden had previously argued that Russia should be excluded from the G20. On 29th of April, during a cell phone, a phone call <laughs> to President Zelensky, President Widodo invited him to the summit. Zelensky, uh, U.S. representatives had insisted on Zelensky's participation. On 27th of May, Zelensky confirmed that he would take part in the summit and said that he hoped Putin would not be attending. attending. Ursula von der Leyen president of the European Commission, there was not voted by the European uh, citizens, just by their bosses over there, is against boycotting the G20 summit due to Putin's attendance. She believes it is important for Western leaders to personally let Putin know what they think. Well, finally, I agree with uh, Ursula. Chinese diplomats have made efforts to take the war between Russia and Ukraine off this summit's agenda. Putin is hoping to host President Widodo in Moscow in uh, the very near future. Okay, well, this thing with isolation, it didn't work. Look at Iran. Oh, well, let's look, look at the Cuba first one. Look at Cuba. Look at Iran. Look at North Korea. And it's, it's a kind of, uh, how should I put it? Um, mildly you assume the role of the leader or the or the person and the enforcer here who if someone doesn't follow your not necessary rules let's say rules the global rules that you didn't follow so they broke you broke but then somehow you are the morally superior country who uh, or that is uh, entitled to point fingers and decide um, what penalty each country should have when you committed some, uh, how should I put it, uh, uh, indecencies yourself and you broke the law left and right with big consequences, global consequences that I think are even greater than, for instance, Iran or North Korea. You know, North Korea did not, you know, destroy five countries already in the past 20 years, let's say, 25 years. Neither Iran, you know, you know, and uh, 
all of a sudden, or it, you still are in the ivory tower, pointing fingers down there and tell everybody that uh, you should be, you should not be, you come over here, you go over there. Uh, who do you think likes that? Uh, I mean, unless you decree, by decree, say, I'm the boss and everybody shut up. up. But is this, is, this, is this pretense of uh, international community, uh, we are in United Nations, you know, it's a global uh, community that is ruled by laws, international law, and each and every country should abide by that, and then the consequences should be, you know, uh, equal for each and every participant. All these things are just uh, angering, and not upsetting, angering, because it's so much hypocrisy. And you see, I'm not talking about a country, for instance, like Russia and China, that potentially could hit back and, and this uh, hypocrisy, and they're guilty of their own BS, of course. Who's not? I know who. Israel. But let's put Israel to the side. Okay? But it's just, uh, what, what are we going to do? We either follow those rules or we don't. Obviously, we don't. And we still think that we are better than those guys, those guys, those guys. And imagine a small country who has been year after year by these guys, t been told that they don't respect the human rights, they did this and they're not good, they change regimes, they go send CIA and say and this, 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 and do whatever. I don't know about, let's say, South American countries. I can give you a few examples over there. If I close my eyes, I can point uh, right there, right there, right there. No problem, you know. Uh, uh, so this should have built a lot of frustration with United States uh, playing this role of uh, you're not good, I'm good, but when you put a mirror in front of the United States, oh my God! I mean, don't I mean if if it's at least you say it. No man, I'm the boss. I do whatever I want. I'm a tyrant. Shut up, and I'm gonna tell you what to do. But it's not. It's, it's all this. Um, a smoke screen of uh, equality, love, and human rights, and uh, international law, and United Nations, and the NATO Defensive Alliance. If you look at each and every claim of, the, of everything I mentioned, United Nations, NATO, human rights abuses, all these things were trampled by all these countries. Who, I mean, except Israel. I'm saying that again. So never. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's just angering, it's frustrating. Imagine that you're in a neighborhood, imagine that you're in a classroom, and you have a guy, and you have the rules, and the guy breaks the, the rules like everybody else, but somehow he's the cleanest, pretends to be the cleanest, and tells everybody else what to do, and punishes everybody because somehow he's in charge because why? Because this, this dictates. All this and, you know, democracy and debate and... You know, if I don't like you, I don't talk to you and you're out and I'm going to destroy your country. And I will tell everybody that to do the same thing. And if they don't, I'm going to slap them around. But I already did that a while ago. So they know, you know, they're already like a dog. They're trained. They know exactly what they're supposed to do. But anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.